In life, we constantly find ourselves at the crossroads of choices. Some we make right, and some we make wrong. Choices are much like the petals of a dandelion, enchanting and impossible to predict. My choice is to make you all weep. As on any other Sunday morning, the dandelion kingdom was under attack by a sinister force. Fortunately, this time, there was only one demon. However, no one could defeat it. Let me help you. Huh? This is futile! <laughs> if only someone could save everyone. Oh look, a rainbow has appeared, dispelling the fear of the menacing octopus demon. <laughs> He's here! Ah. Our rainbow guardian! <laughs> Who are you? Rainbow Beam suddenly descended upon the octopus demon, transforming it into a cute stuffed octopus. Ah. <laughs> From above, Rainbow Guardian Phoebe appeared in all her glory, with her magnificent rainbow wings. The delighted citizens gathered around Phoebe, celebrating her victory. However, someone wasn't pleased. Rainbow Guardian Iris, Phoebe's twin sister. Where will Iris's envy lead her? Stay tuned and subscribe to Woe Fairy Tales to find out. Twin sisters Iris and Phoebe are the descendants of the Rainbow Guardians, bestowed with magical wings. <laughs> Phoebe, the elder sister, was granted the rarest and most beautiful <laughs> rainbow wings. But Iris, the younger one, wasn't as fortunate. She received small, grey and unattractive wings. Phoebe's rainbow wings endowed her with unmatched rainbow light abilities. Making all demons fear her and all citizens adore her. Iris couldn't fly or shoot rainbow beams. So, she was often compared to her talented sister. People were distant and cold to Iris, believing she didn't deserve the title of Rainbow Guardian. This made Iris increasingly insecure and closed off. Iris felt her fate was unjust. She especially envied her sister's pair of rainbow wings. Nevertheless, Iris quietly helped people with her modest abilities. She hoped that one day someone would recognize her worth. Today is the birthday of the two sisters, Phoebe and Iris. Precious gifts were delivered from all corners of the Dandelion Kingdom. Iris looked around but found no gift for herself. She couldn't bear it any longer. Feeling dejected, she turned to leave. Suddenly, a plump bird flew into the Royal Banquet Hall. It carried a beautiful <laughs> rainbow crown. The bird ignored Phoebe and huh? handed the crown to Iris. <gasps> huh? For Iris, the most deserving. <gasps> the crown radiated <laughs> rainbow magic, standing out among all other gifts. Phoebe was displeased with this turn of events. I can be just like you now. No, Iris. There must be a misunderstanding here. This crown belongs to the most deserving one. Are you deserving, Iris? That's right. Only Phoebe deserves this rainbow crown. Iris, hand me the crown. No. Phoebe, with a cold spell, took the crown from Iris's hand. Amidst cheers, she placed the rainbow crown on her own head. <laughs> Iris, heartbroken, left the party. <laughs> Since Phoebe possessed the rainbow crown, for some reason, she became selfish and stopped mm. caring about her role as a rainbow guardian. 
The citizens are under attack by demons! Just one demon and you can't handle it? I'm busy! The Rainbow Crown emitted a sinister magic, mesmerizing Phoebe. Iris noticed but didn't know what to do. Even without Phoebe's protection, the citizens managed to defeat the demon. However, many were injured. Unlike her selfish sister, Iris continued to help people with her limited abilities. An old woman advised her. The old woman gave Iris a dandelion flower. Just follow the dandelion petals, and Iris would find the skilled Dr. Dante, the only one who could heal Phoebe's troubled heart. Once I cure Phoebe, they'll recognize me. Iris followed a path strewn with dandelion flowers. The path led her to a vast field of dandelions, bathed in warm sunlight and gentle breezes. Here, Iris met Dante, a young and talented doctor with a kind heart. Iris immediately admired Dante from their first meeting. Dante spent a lot of time with Iris, caring for her, teaching her medical knowledge. But in reality, Dante was the Demon King. However, because someone finally cared for and valued her, Iris didn't realize she was being deceived by Dante. Iris was happy by Dante's side. Nevertheless, she needed to save her sister. Iris, you could stay here with me and forget about those who underestimated you. I have to help my sister. Hmm. In that case, you'll need to obtain three of her rainbow feathers. I can't. No one can touch her rainbow wings. Then I can help you. <gasps> Iris, only you can do it. I... I will. To approach Phoebe, Iris had to bypass the vigilant guards. This was a challenging task. However, Iris had a trump card up her sleeve. Although she lacked magical abilities like her sister, Iris possessed physical strength. She kept this hidden to avoid being perceived as awkward and ungraceful. She easily incapacitated the guards by targeting their weaknesses, temporarily rendering them unconscious. Iris stealthily entered Phoebe's bedroom. She sighed when she saw her venerable sister. Phoebe was asleep, still clutching the rainbow crown. Iris reached out to touch Phoebe's rainbow wings. And just before she was about to pluck the feathers, she suddenly stopped. Should I take the rainbow crown? No, I won't be tempted by worldly desires. <gasps> I've taken the rainbow feathers. Thank you, Iris. You're too naive, Iris. The one who sent the rainbow crown to you is none other than me. You deceived me! Poor Iris was helpless, being exploited by the demon king, Dante, without any recourse. He soared high, using a feather from Phoebe, breaking through the rainbow barrier. And opening the way for the horrible <gasps> demons to invade the kingdom of Dandelion. Without the protectors of the rainbow, no one could defeat the wicked demons. It's so my fault! The situation was now extremely dire. Due to neglecting her role as a rainbow guardian, Phoebe could no longer harness her own power. Now, the demons no longer feared her. They completely overwhelmed Phoebe. It can't be! Dante used the second rainbow feather to manipulate Phoebe's mind. A massive surge of dark energy completely engulfed Phoebe, making it impossible for her to break free. The worst had happened. 
Rainbow Guardian Phoebe was corrupted by the Demon King, Dante, betraying everything she had once protected. In the darkest moment, the little bird that Iris had saved long ago returned. Seeing the little bird, Iris felt a surge of motivation. She decided to correct her mistakes herself. Iris and the little bird faced Dante, two demons, and their twin sister Phoebe. The demons showed no fear of Iris, a powerless rainbow bearer. Mockingly, they allowed Phoebe to attack her sister. Phoebe showed no mercy at all. This time, Iris was prepared. Wake up, Phoebe. You are a good person. No! Please remember, Phoebe. <laughs> you only took advantage of my kindness. Uh. <gasps> Phoebe, you are a rainbow gorgon. Mm. I will protect you and everyone else. <laughs> no, 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 no. Iris's words stirred something in Phoebe. However, Dante's dark magic was too strong to be dispelled. Phoebe couldn't bear these conflicting emotions any longer. She unleashed a powerful burst of energy toward Iris. A huge explosion occurred, enveloping everything in a thick haze, obscuring Phoebe's vision entirely. Suddenly, Iris tore through the dust cloud and embraced Phoebe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not helping you, for making you do everything. I was jealous and wanted to be like you without realizing how exhausted you were. <laughs> help me! Someone help me! Come back to me, Phoebe. Thanks to Iris, Phoebe <laughs> regained her composure. The Demon King Dante could no longer manipulate her. Iris, I'm sorry too. Is it over yet? <sighs> No! <gasps> the cruel Dante set fire to the last rainbow feather. In doing so, he easily deprived Phoebe of her life. In her final moments, Phoebe used all her strength to touch Iris's tattered wings, transferring all her remaining power to Iris. This is my gift to you, Iris. Iris no longer needed the rainbow wings. All she wanted was to be by her twin sister's side. No! I can't accept this! Thank you, Iris. Thanks to you, I've realized my flaws. Despite having boundless strength and the love of everyone, I should not have been complacent and lost myself in arrogance. In the absence of your protective embrace, I discovered how weak I truly was. It wasn't my lack of power, but my fragile heart. I couldn't face my own self. It's the end, Dante. The demon Lord Dante could never have anticipated this turn of events. His plan was supposed huh? to be foolproof. Yeah. Don't pretend, you two! <gasps> now, the two sisters, Iris and Phoebe, had each other. And the Demon King Dante was no match for them. <gasps> no! <gasps> Iris! Phoebe! <laughs> we will always be together. With their sisterly bond, the twin sisters Iris and Phoebe pushed back the horde of evil demons and restored the rainbow barrier of the Dandelion Kingdom. However, the power of the two sisters was not enough to prevent the dark fate awaiting Phoebe. Restoring the barrier had depleted her life force. Without her current abilities, Iris couldn't save her sister. Iris, don't cry. <laughs> I will always be with you. <laughs> Legend has it that after every rain, when you look up at the sky, you will see the rainbow goddess Iris waiting for her twin sister Phoebe to return. It's been many days since what? I've had such a dream. Mm. What does it mean? Maybe I should go to the forest mm. to hunt to relax. <laughs> that was Prince Adrian, 
a handsome, talented, and passionate about hunting person. He was loved by many girls, but still had not found his right puzzle. That day, because he was engrossed in hunting, and when the moon rose, he got lost in an old castle in the forest, where a lake flew through. <gasps> a splendid old castle. Surely this country used to be very prosperous. But why is it so dilapidated now? Adrian suddenly saw a beautiful swan being chased by a fierce crocodile. He quickly raised his bow to shoot. His arrow made the crocodile run away in fear. Don't be afraid, you're fine. Suddenly, the swan turned into a very beautiful girl. Thank you for saving my life. Unbelievable. Why is it so similar to my dream? Uh, don't mention it. That's what I should do. I am Prince Adrian. And who are you? How could you turn into a swan like that? I am Princess Iris. This castle was once my home. In the past, this place was a poor kingdom. Since the wizard Jared appeared, he used magic to help the king and the kingdom become rich and powerful. <laughs> Seeing that he could do many things, my father named him Prime Minister. Since then, the kingdom had completely depended on him. He had acquired all power in the court that day. Is the princess here too? Then it's the right time. I have long admired the beauty of Princess Iris. Now I want to ask the king to allow me to marry you. So I can both marry a beautiful princess, and I can easily take the throne of this kingdom. In your dream! I will never accept that! Whatever I become, it's better than being your wife! You dare to refuse a powerful wizard? Alright then, get ready to suffer my wrath. I curse the castle and this kingdom will forever sink into oblivion, and Princess Iris will become a swan forever. You can only turn back into a human on full moon nights. Unless you sacrifice yourself, I will not let go of this castle. Princess Iris turned into a swan. From then on, the castle gradually sank into oblivion in the deep forest. She went on and on to find a way to lift the curse, turn back into a human, and save the kingdom. What should I do now? In the end, Iris was so lucky that she met a fairy and got the advice from her. To lift the curse of the wizard, you must find your true love. If he proposes to you on the night of the full moon, you will turn back into a human. Then the curse will be lifted, and the wizard will lose all magic. Be careful. If it's not true love, it won't work. Then you will have to live as a swan for the rest of your life. <sighs> Poor you. That evil wizard is obnoxious. If I ever meet him, I will definitely demand justice for you. They talked throughout that night and gradually realized they liked each other. From then on, Adrian often went alone to the castle in the woods to befriend Iris, both when she was a swan and when she turned you. Their love grew more and more. That day, Adrian decided to express his love to Iris. Iris, do you believe in our love? Surely my sincerity will lift the curse for you. Come to my palace tomorrow night and accept my marriage proposal. Adrian, I believe in you. I'll be there tomorrow night. However, <laughs> the two did not know that the evil wizard Jared had always been watching Princess Iris and knew of their appointment. The next evening, when the moon rose at Adrian's palace, there was a great party. As expected, the beautiful Princess Iris appeared on time. Iris, you're here! Adrian, hurry up! 
Hurry up and propose to me in front of so many people! Iris, why are you so impatient? It's not like you as usual. Well, that's because I'm so anxious to lift the curse! Adrian, let's go! Let's meet your parents right now! Dear father, mother, and all the guests here, this is the <laughs> Princess Iris, the one I love. And from today, she will be my wife. Iris, will you agree to marry me? <laughs> Wait! <gasps> Adrian, you're wrong! I am the real Iris! Since the full moon rose, I had to pass through the forest to get here. That's why I'm late. What's going on? Who is my real Iris? If the newcomer is the real Iris, then who did I propose to? At that time, the fake Iris revealed his true form as the evil wizard. I am the wizard Jared. The one you just proposed to is me, not Iris. So the curse won't be lifted. Iris will be a swan forever. <laughs> you, the evil wizard. True love. What true love that you can't recognize your lover, the real princess? Liar! <gasps> Iris, I'm sorry. I didn't expect that the wizard... His wizard craft is so powerful. It's all over, Adrian. I no longer have hope to lift a curse and turn back into a human. <laughs> Jared, I accept to sacrifice myself. I only ask you to spare my father and my kingdom. Princess, prove it to me with your actions. When I'm satisfied, I'll spare your kingdom. <gasps> Adrian, how is it? Why did you relate to the curse and that evil wizard? Father, mother, I will explain this after I found her. <gasps> Iris fled Adrian's palace. She returned to her castle by the lake and looked at it one last time. Will you keep your word and release everything? Don't worry, I promise to keep my word. Iris went to the lake. At that moment, Prince Adrian also chased there. No, Iris, don't! You want to save the princess? It's not that easy. The evil wizard, I will risk my life with you. Adrian rushed to attack the wizard, but he easily disarmed and knocked him away. At that time, Iris jumped into the lake and drowned. <laughs> it's your end for daring to go against me. No, Iris! Iris! Don't waste your time searching in vain. Do you think she can live underwater for that long? <laughs> it's all my fault. I was too rude, I got the wrong person, and could not free Iris, but also pushed her to this painful end. I can't live without Iris. Dear gods, please allow me to sacrifice myself to save Iris's life. After praying, Adrian resolved to jump into the lake with his lover and quickly drown. That's stupid. Giving up your life for a girl? That's fine. I don't have to worry anymore. But soon, he couldn't believe his eyes anymore. A miracle happened! A miraculous wave of water brought both Adrian and Swan up from the bottom of the lake. The fairy appeared satisfied. True love is voluntary self-sacrifice for each other, able to cross the boundaries of life and death. Adrian's love for Iris it's true love! <gasps> huh? You are back to human! Huh? The curse of the evil wizard Jared has been lifted. <gasps> Iris, I'm glad you're back with me. I promise <laughs> I won't lose you again. The sun rose. The whole castle was bright and full of light. Iris's kingdom was quickly revived <laughs> and completely restored to its former self. <laughs> the two countries happily congratulated the wedding of Prince Adrian and the Swan <laughs> Princess Iris. They lived happily ever after. <laughs>